beware. This book is a jagged reality pill. If you take it, you will never be able to unknow the truth. I am frequently asked how it feels to win the largest civil rights case in U.S. history. Most people think the settlement size, 1.25 billion, is what makes the case extraordinary. It is not. Not even close. People ask why it never made headline news the way the Brown versus Board of Education case did. I recently had another attorney tell me you're the most successful civil rights attorney in America that nobody knows. I thought about that, prayed, lost many nights of sleep, and the best explanation I can offer is that there is no glory in war. In the same way servicemen seldom talk about what they saw in battle, those who engaged in this one have remained similarly silent. I can tell you, it was war for me. But my hell, working this case, was nothing compared to what I discovered happened to tens of thousands of black families, their businesses, and their farms. This is the story of stolen glory, of rising from the depths of slavery, empowering future generations to be self-supportive, creating jobs, earning the rights of entrepreneurial freedom, as well as being a source of healing, healing past national crimes. But that will never happen until each of us accepts the responsibility of building a strong sense of personal identity, and that can only be viewed from a mirror. My hope is the dreams of entrepreneurial freedom that those black farmers fought for will never die. And you will find the courage to replant the seeds that God has given all of us. For there is nothing sweeter or more fulfilling than a just harvest.